announced the final day of the NCAA Track and Field Championships. This meet has already showcased some of the best performances that we have seen in 2022. But for this final day, the most talented female athletes are here to make a statement. In the women's 100 meter dash, we are guaranteed to see some real fire on the track. In the semifinals just two days ago, we had a total of six athletes dip under the 11 second barrier, which if you're running under 11 seconds for the 100 meters, you are flying. So this final was sure to be exciting. However, the one athlete that I think has the best shot at winning is Julian Alfred from Texas, this year's NCAA leader in the 100 meters with a time of 10.81 seconds, which places her at number three in the world this season, only behind Shelly and Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson Hera. Also running in this field is the collegiate record holder in the 200 meters, Favor Ophelia from LSU, as well as Kimba Nelson from Oregon and Abby Steiner from Kentucky. Indeed, the hype around this final has been massive, and the buildup to this final has been many of the best times in collegiate history. But the question now is who would show up for this 100 meter final, and what would the winning time ultimately be? After a clean start, it was Julian Alfred up front with a very fast opening 60 meters, but Kimba Nelson was very, very close behind. However, with great strength and sprinting poise, Julian Alfred took this clutch victory with a time of 11.02 seconds, only beating Kimba Nelson by just five one thousandths of a second. Finishing in third was Abby Steiner in 11.08 seconds, and finishing in fourth was Rosemary Chuck Wuma in 11.14. Now, this race was a little bit slower than many people thought it would be, especially given that six runners broke 11 seconds in the semifinals. However, this 100 meter final took place just minutes after the rain finally disappeared from Eugene, so the wet track combined with the rain was likely the reason why no athlete here broke 11. This NCAA championship victory was quite the statement from Julian Alfred. Earlier this indoor season, she broke the collegiate record in the indoor 60, running a remarkable time of 7.04 seconds. And now, just three months later, she's followed up with an NCAA championship in the 100, and she took down a very strong field in the process. This was quite the way to start the final day of these NCAA championships, and with great execution, Julian Alfred is now the NCAA champion in the women's 100. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.